What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're back for part two. We're doing my eyeshadow palette collection and like last time, I'm just gonna go through pretty quickly, but not that quickly, <laughs> and just talk about each palette um, that I have. These are like a little bit less popular. I mean, they're still popular palettes, um, but they're less popular than the last one, so this is gonna be interesting, I feel like. More interesting than the last one, I don't know. Maybe it won't. Maybe you guys are like, just shut up. <laughs> um, so yeah, and you guys were like, we actually want it longer. We wish you would do a longer video, so. If you guys are complaining that my 24 minute videos are not long enough, I don't think that's a problem at all. I can probably make it long. So anyway, uh, let's just get started. I'm not gonna talk that long. So we're gonna start off with the Lorac Pro palette and this is like, <laughs> it makes me laugh because this was literally, this palette was literally me in college, like 100% because I brought this like this is the only palette like I didn't have a lot of palettes back in college that's when I first started I started like probably end of my freshman year like actually doing like long makeup looks that took me a long time that's what I mean um, and then I used this palette and like only this palette I loved it and I used like Urban Decay half baked and I would do so I do like this in the crease I would do this in, also in the crease, just a little bit lower. I would do this in the outer V, a little bit in the crease, and then I would do black, like in the outer V, or I would use it as liner or whatever. And then I would like highlight my brow bone with one of these. Like to me, this was the perf most perfect palette ever made. So it's kind of sad that like people don't care about it anymore. <laughs> like nobody likes it anymore except for me. I still love this palette. I look at it and I'm like, oh my god, that's this is me in college like this so I can never like throw it away and I never will but I don't really like reach for it anymore just because I feel like I have just I have so many other palettes right now that I have to like try to use you know what I'm saying like when you get to like where you're at my level where you're not like no, I'm not saying like I'm famous I'm saying like I'm a hoarder so like I have so much makeup and I can't throw it away because I like have a nostalgic you know whatever it is about it I don't know like I don't know so anyway I have a lot of stuff but this one is like my OG like I love this one um yeah, I just talked about that for way too long. <laughs> Lorac Pro. So, moving on to this one then. This is a little bit different because I bought this hoping that it was going to be a lot like that, uh, the Lorac Pro. And I do feel like it's the same, like, whatever, consistency. What's the word I'm looking for? I feel like they're the same formula pretty much for the most part. I mean, I think the, the Lorac Pro is a little bit better, but... I mean, this has like a lot of shades. You could definitely do a full look with this. I wish it had like a little bit, like an orange or something, do you know? Um, but I have used this for like, you know, I don't do a lot of cool tone looks and I haven't done any uh, on my channel yet. Because I, you know, I, I think you guys have noticed I like warm tones a little bit better. But when I have done cool tone looks, I have used this palette a little bit. Like this Dusty Mauve and like this one. And um, it's been pretty good. So... I bought this, I mean, I don't really use it that much, but I do still like it. Like, it's not a bad palette, I just don't really use it that much. Like, honestly, like, the shimmers could be a little bit better. Um, they could just be better. So, yeah, I need to start using that more. I'm just picking up whatever palette I see. So, this is the Makeup Revolution Fortune Favors the Brave palette. And this one got a lot of... Um, attention because it's very like the inside is very cool and I think that this was in collaboration with a like a youtuber or somebody like that but um I bought this and I thought it was gonna be really good and I actually don't love it um but it is like it's beautiful to look at like those marbled shadows like that is so cool I can't even remember they're just they just come out like they're not very, you know, look at that, like, where is it? Um, so anyway, this is not the best palette in the world, but if you were, like, a collector or somebody, like, I, I totally understand that. So, if you are a collector, then I would say maybe. <laughs> Honestly, the outside's not that great, though. Like, I think that's kind of, for, I, I don't know why, I just don't like the, pa the packaging of that. And I think that the other Makeup Revolution palettes I showed in my first video are better than this one. Like, I think they're a lot better than this one, so... Not my favorite. Um, I don't really reach for it. Uh, yeah. So this is the Studio Makeup On The Go palette. And 
This is from my boxy charm that I got. So um, this is a really pretty palette. I'm surprised that we got this in the box because it's like just such a cool, like that's, to get a palette, that's like a really big deal, I feel like. I don't know, because those are usually expensive. Um, and this has a really great selection of shadows. I don't use this myself because I just, like, I have all of these shades in another palette. And most likely, I have them all in one palette. And, like, I probably have all of these in one other palette that's of better quality. I think this is good quality. I haven't really used it very much, obviously. Like, they're barely touched. Um... I probably just swatched them a little bit, but I've seen other people that say they love this palette, so I don't know. I'm, I've am i been hanging on to it for a while. I'll probably give it away to, like, my mom or my sister or somebody who, like, is starting. Like, I think this is a great starting out for makeup, but the BoxyCharm is awesome. I think that you get a lot of great stuff in there, and they've been giving away. I mean, they've been putting more, like, expensive, cool stuff like this in the palettes, so, I mean, in the boxes, so, yeah, that's the Studio Makeup on the go eyeshadow palette. So, I have two of these Stila palettes. So we'll start with Eyes are the Window to the Soul. Okay, wait, let me, actually, let me open both of these. I can't totally remember why I bought these. Let's start with the one that I bought, like, I bought first and I liked the best. Sorry, this is like kind of hard to look at, like in my lights, but I bought this because, you know me, you can probably notice the trend that I look for. So I look for like this nice, you know, white shade, and then I look for a transition, a darker shade, and a black. Like if it doesn't have a matte black, you already know that I'm probably going to call somebody out. Like, <laughs> like I'm already going to say that palette's not good enough because it's got to have a matte black. It's got to. So anyway, they have their famous Stila Kitten eyeshadow, which is like, this is my favorite shade. I use this a lot. I used to use this like back in the day so much. And they also have like a really nice pretty gold in there. So this is overall like a really balanced palette. I just remember it not being like the best that I've ever used. And um, yeah, uh, it's just not the best I've ever used. It's not bad, but I just like, I think I bought this and then soon after I found one that I liked even better. So... <laughs> Yeah, I do like that one though, and I just think the packaging is like so cool. Like, I mean, it gets a little bit dirty, but anyway, and then I have this one. Don't know why I bought this, because if I don't use that one, I'm probably not going to use this one, but they have some really pretty shades in this one too. This gold right here, I think is what I bought it for. Uh... Okay, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but you guys can probably tell that I have a little bit of a trend where I will buy palettes just for one color in them and then never use them. So that's uh, not a good thing, obviously. This is a really pretty color, and I think this is Kitten again. Yeah. So they put Kitten in this one, too. Let me just... No, I'm not going to swatch that because it's going to get all over. But, um, yeah, so that is Eyes of the Window to the Spirit palette. So those are the two Stila ones. And by the way, you guys, Stila is now cruelty-free, which I found out. And I'm literally ecstatic about it. So, anyway, those are those two. I have another Stila palette right here. This is actually a newer one, and these are still... I mean, those are for sale too, but this one's for sale also. Um, and this is newer. And I bought this because I was going through a phase... Oh my god. <laughs> I went through a phase where I tried to, like, stock my makeup bag like my I mean my purse with like all if I ever got like caught without any makeup like I would have all the tools that I needed <laughs> for a makeup look a full face makeup look night like I even had setting powder in there for baking like I was so weird I don't know it was just like a weird thing that I did but um so I keep this I keep this in my like purse if I'm carrying a big purse around and, well, I did for a while anyway, and I thought this would be, like, a nice, um, this is for light to medium skin. They have, like, a fair people, they have, like, dark skin people, they have, like, in-between medium. Anyway, um, I thought this was, like, a really pretty, I think I actually tried to do a look with it, too, and it came out okay. It's not, like, my favorite thing ever, but they have two blushes, and then they have, like, what is that? A base. So, yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing. I keep it in my purse, um because I'm crazy and I'm like, as if I would ever get caught, like, in a situation where I would, I don't know. I think it was, I think I was doing this when I first started dating Jarvis. So, 
I was like over like he had an apartment down at college and like whenever I'd go to visit him I was like in that phase where I really wanted to like look oh like always look good so if my makeup got like messed up like I also had this problem where my eyes would water all the time so I'd have to fix my makeup so I actually this did come in handy a lot where I would like go in the bathroom and I had a literally you guys I had a shader brush like I don't even know I had a shader brush and I would put this on the outer corner of my eye because that's where it always would leak um, when my eyes would water oh my god you guys I can't even tell you but this actually did come in handy so yeah I'm crazy I don't know so these are the these were uh, like Christmas or something or I don't know what these were actually but these were the Too Faced like limited edition palettes and I was so excited to get these um, let me just kind of lay them out for you so you can see what's going on here. I thought this was the coolest thing ever. Like, this was kind of back when I didn't have that much makeup or, like, I don't know what I, I don't know. Anyway, I didn't care about these at all. Like, these, I mean, they're not the greatest quality. I think you probably heard that from other, oh, shoot. So, you probably heard that not a lot of people like these. I actually don't think they're the worst thing ever. Because, like, look at this shade selection. Like, that's actually pretty cute and, like, I think it's actually not the worst uh like selection so anyway um this one was okay like this is too shimmery i think for a bronzer yeah for sure so i didn't love this one either but this one i loved and you guys can tell i used to use this one it's like such a pretty i have so many swatches right now hold on this is actually great quality look at that oh my god i love it I mean, what are, you, what are people talking about? That's pretty good quality. So, anyway, that was really good. And I could do, like, a simple kind of, like, look with that. So, I actually brought this one time when I went, I traveled somewhere. And, like, how pretty is this blush? Like, oh, my God. I think that is, like, one of the most perfect blush colors I've ever seen. I hope it's picking up on camera. It's kind of like a peachy pink. But, yeah, oh, my God. I used to love this so much. Like, I can't even tell you guys. <laughs> I traveled with this. Like, I went out, uh... I went downtown one time and I visited my friend and I brought this palette with me and like I just used this like it was great and I brought this too. <laughs> like whenever I was going out like on the town I would bring this palette. I'm just telling you guys but anyway um I like this one. I wish they would come out with something like similar to this maybe with like a matte black obviously. I sound like a broken record like can I stop saying matte black? Jeez. Okay. Next, this is my only Urban Decay palette. It's the Naked 2 palette. But fun fact about this is this was my very first like high-end makeup palette that I ever got. And I think this is like the closest I've ever come to hitting pan on a shade is this half-baked right here. This is like my first favorite like eyeshadow ever. Um, it's just funny that this is my first favorite because I totally don't like cool tone palettes anymore. So, anyway, I just don't feel like this is something you can do a complete look with. I think it's kind of just all over the place. And, um, I'm not like a huge fan of the Urban Decay Naked palettes, honestly. So, I know that's probably weird or whatever, but I just, I never really have been. I just bought this because I thought this is like what everybody had. Yeah, I still think this blackout shade is the best black I've ever used. Like, definitely. Um, yeah, besides that, I don't really use anything else. But, yeah. Um, just, you know, not my favorite I've ever had. Uh, I used to try to use this when I worked at Sephora. Like, I, and it's just one of those palettes, like, you can't just, you can't just use the, just this. Like, jeez. Unless you do, unless you're like so simple and you just do like that all over your lid. Uh, yeah, so. Make it two palette. I'm just going to talk about these really quick. You guys know I have these in my collection. And you know how I feel probably about each one. I don't like this one. This is the Tartlet whatever palette. The Tartlet Tartlet palette. The first one. Uh, the all matte one. I don't like it. You guys know that already. Sorry, it's like so hard to see. Um, I just don't think it's very good quality, and I didn't realize it, though, until I got this palette, which is the Tartlet and Bloom. You guys know this is one of my favorite palettes of all time. Um, I convinced my mom to get this, and she doesn't even care about eyeshadow at all, so it was just funny that, um, 
I convinced her to get it. But this is like so amazing, you guys. I've told you this a thousand times. I use this in a tutorial if you want me to, like want to see me using it. Um, it's the Valentine's Day tutorial, and I feel like that would be a good one too if you need like a prom makeup look. So anyway, this is the bomb. Like I just love this palette. Like I love everything about it. I love everything about it. So I love everything about it. I just love this palette. So I always tell people to get this, like no matter what. I, you need this. Like you just need this palette. I'm just telling you right now. So listen. <laughs> Another palette that I don't like is the Tartist Pro palette. Oh my god. Can this open? Jeez. Okay. Yeah, so I thought this was going to be so good, and I just don't. I don't like it, you guys. It's so not good. Um, I know a lot of people that like it. I just don't like it at all. I just, I don't know if I got a bad one or what, but I just don't like the shivers in it, you know? So, eee. I just thought these were, like, kind of crazy. They were just too, like, my, my eyeshadow came out way too muddy. But to be fair, I haven't used, like, any of these. So I don't know how these are, but I have used, like, this row, some in this row. I've used these two, and, like, it was just, like, no. I had to wipe my makeup off three times when I used this, so <laughs> not a good sign, I guess. I'll probably, I think I'm going to keep this for reference for a little bit longer, but then I'm going to give it away to somebody who will like it probably a lot more than me. <laughs> and this is really, like, heavy, kind of. Jeez. So these are interesting, and I haven't seen a single person talk about this. Like, I don't know why. So, anyway, it's called the NYX Beauty School Dropout, the Freshman. So, it looks like this. And kind of interesting. It's got these, like, flaps or whatever. And this was the first one I bought because there's two. There's a Beauty School Dropout Graduate, and then this is the Beauty School Dropout Freshman. So, anyway... Um, I thought this was an okay palette, but not the best, and I don't really recommend getting it, just, I mean, I don't even know, if they might sell this, I think I might have seen it, but it probably is going on clearance, why did I buy this, I can't even remember, I just thought like, oh, that's really cool, they have so many different shades, like, how cool is that, like, that blue is really cool, so, I don't know, I was just, I think I was just in one of those modes where I was like, not really thinking very much. <laughs> And I don't have a lot of NYX shadows, so I wanted to try some out, but I don't think this is the one that I should have started with, so. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. I have the Beauty School Dropout Graduate, or Senior, I don't know. So, <laughs> it's huge. I, this doesn't even fit. Okay, hold on. So, again, it comes with this flap thing. It does have a mirror, which is nice, and they have, like, these huge, I mean, these are huge. I remember not really loving these. Like, I think I actually would like... Like, this is... Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I actually would... Like, I love this kind of highlighter. Like, I would gravitate towards that. But I don't remember it being, like, anything spectacular. I don't know. So, this actually was a better palette than the last one. I, I mean, I like, the, I like looking at it. Like, I'm looking at it in the camera right now, and it looks really cool and, like, awesome. But I feel like maybe they should have made these a little bit bigger. Like, it's just, you're like... Jeez, it's like, it's kind of um, reminds me of those when you're a little kid, those makeup palettes, how small they are, like the Claire's makeup. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So that's the Beauty School Dropout. Don't know why I bought that if I didn't really love the first one, but you know. Okay, so I also have this Jouer Essential Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. So, oh, come on, come on. I got sent this from Friends Beauty, so thank you for sending me that. Um, and I'm glad I got it sent to me because I'm I didn't have to buy it then. Um, I just don't love it. Like I don't love this palette. I don't think that the shimmers are anything great. I don't think that the mattes are anything great. So yeah, like just nothing, nothing great. <laughs> nothing great about it. It's just like a so-so palette. Like it's definitely. The reason why I'm saying that is because I just feel like you can buy, like, different palettes, you know? Like, you can just get something else that's better and, like, fulfills you more. Like, this isn't very fulfilling. So, next, I have the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. So, I feel like this, was this cool at one point? Or, like, was there a lot of people using this? Because I feel like there was, but 
Anyway, I was gravitated towards this because of the glitter in here. Like, these are, like, super kind of glittery shadows. Or are they? Um, so I thought these were glittery, and then they don't really have that much glitter in them. So I thought they were going to kind of be, like, the Urban Decay uh, Cosmic Shadows. Or what are those called? I don't know what they're called. But, yeah. Um, this has some good stuff in it. I just don't use it. It's just one of those palettes. I have, I don't really use it very much, and you don't really see a lot of people talking about it, so, I don't know, it's like a very basic palette. I think that a lot of, I think maybe makeup artists used to use this, or, I don't know, I can't remember why, what compelled me to buy this, but, something must have, I'm just, <laughs> can't remember right now. Okay, there's a backstory on this one. So this, you probably won't recognize, this is a, like, way back, like, years ago, like, almost... Gosh, what year was this? It doesn't say. Oh, I wish it said. This is like 2000 and like, oh my god, I can't even remember. This is so long ago. Oh, I like, I love looking at this because it's just like, okay, just, I just want to tell you a story really quick and I'm sure you guys don't care if I tell you, but so I got this palette for Christmas from my grandma who she loves makeup too she's like the only person in my family that gives a hoot about makeup everybody else doesn't care and it kills me but she's the only one that cares and she used to work at clinique mac i mean not mac sorry <laughs> grandma working at mac um she used to work at clinique and like estee lauder and stuff like that but anyway so she bought me this palette and it was part of like a set and it came with all these lipsticks and all of the, like, and all these lip glosses and all of this, like, it came with mascara, it came with, a, like, blushes. It was, like, a huge palette. It must have cost her, like, a hundred dollars or something. You know how, like, they do those holiday things? So, she bought me this, and I, at the time, was such a tomboy. Like, I hated makeup, and I was literally just, like, I wasn't upset that I got that, but I was just kind of, like, indifferent. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Um... But, like, I didn't understand how much I would love this palette, like, years, years later. Like, I mean, honestly, like, not the best quality. I think that they've definitely, like, bumped up their... This is, I'm seriously telling you guys, I came in, like, how many years ago? This is, like, 2008 to, like, 2006. I don't even know. I don't even know how long Tarte's been around. They probably haven't even been around that long, but, like, oh, my God, it's such an old palette, but I can't get rid of it. Like... I can't believe I still have this. It's just like, I probably shouldn't have it, but yeah, like the quality is so bad. Oh my God, it's so funny. But oh, this was such like a nostalgic palette. Like, and the fact that I didn't like makeup and then years later, I would like, this would be like the one of the best gifts to me. I don't know. So anyway, this is the Tarte's, what is it called? Amazonian clay eyeshadow palette. But yeah, man, this is an old one. This is like limited edition moving on to not very limited edition at all we have morphe palettes so um the one thing i will say is that i don't like how you can't see inside the palettes like that bothers me really badly but anyway let's talk about the 350 first so so this one is like a really pretty palette um I just don't use it very much, but I like it because I can reference it a lot for other videos because I tend to use like higher end shadows that um, can be, du this this can dupe them. Like this isn't the best quality and I don't think that these can dupe everything, but I do feel like you can create colors, like you can create different oranges and like, anyway, it's got a lot of good stuff in here. Like obviously there's no matte black, you guys know I'm already like... <laughs> Why don't you put a matte black in here? But um, I do, I like this palette. I just, I mean, I don't love it. Like, I know people that love it, though. I just can't really get a lot out of the shimmers. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. But, yeah, so that's the 350. Um, if you guys ever see me do a, a makeup look, like, I'm going to have one coming up with the Visart palette. Um, you can probably use this to dupe it a little bit. So, yeah, there's that. And then I have one that I really don't like at all. Oh my god. This is the 35F palette. And I bought this because I was like, oh, I'll like never need another palette because they have like this whole row of just like transition shades and like so you can set your whatever with that. There's a matte black in it. Um, and then there's like all of these shimmers, which I haven't really touched at all, but I just don't like it very much. Like, 
these, this was so bad. I, this is another palette where I had to wipe my makeup off, like, literally four or five times. Like, okay, maybe three or four, I don't know. I just don't feel like it translates to the eye. I don't know. Am I, like, am I being, like, a hater for no reason? Because you guys can tell me, but, oh, I just don't like these. I'm hoping the Jaclyn Hill one's going to be better. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, because I just don't, I just don't think, like, these shades were, like, very smartly put together like I feel like they put them together with a good intention I'm talking about this bottom row I feel like they put them together with a good intention but it just didn't it failed because on your eyelid they blend together to just create this muddy mess and it's just a disaster like ugh. anyway <laughs> wow <laughs> I am so honest you guys it's probably like to the point where it's annoying like you're probably just like god would you chill out you little brat like <laughs> But seriously, like, I'm just not a huge fan of the Morphe palettes. You guys already know, so. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna... Yeah, we're gonna do that. So I have some final palettes here. I just have a few left, but... This is the Deck of Scarlet palette. And, oh my god, there's a hair in it, ew. But I can't get it out because it's, like, lipstick. <laughs> but they have... Oh, wait a minute. I forgot this was in here. So this is like a subscription box. I don't know if you guys, you probably have heard of it because they've done like a lot of YouTuber uh, things and I think they've collaborated with some YouTubers and stuff, but let me just show you first. So every month, this is what I know from them because they just sent it to me um, so I could just have it. I don't know. Ooh. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to put this. So anyway, it comes with an eyeliner. Like a black, it came with like a perp, no, it came with a brown eyeliner. It comes with a lip liner. It comes with two lipstick shades. So those are the two lipstick shades. It's kind of like a dark, uh, I don't know, that's like a brownie red? I don't even know. Um, and then like a nude, like a peachy nude. And then for this one, it's a bronzer and then this is a cream blush which oops sorry it's a bronzer and then this is a cream blush which I don't understand why they would do a cream blush because it's like if you have like a flap for this which these are like you know lipsticks are kind of like liquidy but this is kind of liquidy too like this is almost like the same thing so why well, I have a flap for this one but not for that one because I have hair in that stuck in that one which is gross but Anyway, so every month it'll come with like two, a bronzer and a blush, and then it'll come with three eyeshadows. And I've seen some different reviews, like I'm not totally sure on the quality, to be honest. Like I haven't really, I haven't tried it for a look or anything, but I think this is a cool idea if you are somebody, this is for a very specific person, if you are somebody who is, loves makeup, number one, but number two, you like love to challenge yourself and maybe like, work outside of your, I don't know, go outside of your comfort zone a little bit, I think this would be a really cool palette. And the reason why I say this is because I feel like I get this way too, where I'm just kind of like in a makeup rut, and I want to get myself out of it a little bit, and I want to challenge myself. And one way you can challenge yourself is just by using one palette to like create a look, you know? So with this one, it's kind of like a challenge. You're like, okay, how do I create a look? What can I do? You know, how can I be creative? So you can do like, you know this on the lid and then you could use this as a crease shade this in the outer corner you can do this as a brow bone highlighter you know you can kind of mix it up and i think that's a cool thing to do so i don't know if you've got the extra cash and if you want to like challenge yourself i think it might be a cool thing um and i feel like as they grow bigger maybe they'll kind of make the quality a little bit better because oh you know what that's not that's not oh yeah, yeah. well it's not the best but it's not the worst so Anyway, um, that's my Deck of Scarlet palette. I talked about this one in a disappointing product video, and I know this is an unpopular opinion. <laughs> and I know there's probably people at home who are, like, cringing right now because every time somebody, like, puts a camera in one of these kind of videos, they put a camera on, a like, a palette that I love. My heart and my, like, I literally stop breathing because I'm like, please, please, God, don't diss my favorite palette. Um, so I know that's kind of going to be how people feel about this one because I know this is a lot of people's favorite palette, but I just, I kind of explained why in my video, but, um, I just don't think that you can do a whole look with it. I think that this isn't really for me. Like, this is definitely, I can see makeup artists using this and they're on the go and they do quick, 
you know, quick looks or whatever, and, um, but that's just not me, and it's just, that's just not how I do my makeup, so, yeah, like, I do my makeup, I take a long time, I like to take time on my eyeshadow, and when I, even when I do makeup on other people, I take a really long time, and I, like, focus on their eyeshadow, and, I mean, because mainly I do, like, prom makeup and, like, stuff like that. So, anyway, it's just not my style. Like, it's just not my favorite thing ever. So, yeah, I just, I don't really use this. And I know a lot of people emailed me and they want me to sell it to them. But, um, I'm still thinking about it. I don't know yet. <laughs> so, this palette, I had the other one in my last video. I had the, um, sorry, my, I'm, like, cramping up right now. I had the other one in my last video, which was the warm palette that just came out. It's like the warm mattes palette. So now I ordered, in the time from my last video and this video, obviously, I ordered this palette, which is, this is the 01 Neutral Matte Palette. And I know a lot of people say, oh, that's like so cheap packaging, whatever. To me, I don't think that it's cheap at all because this is like true makeup artist you know, style. Plus, when you know that it costs $80, you're like, oh, wait, that's not cheap. I already know in my heart that's not cheap, so <laughs> it can't possibly look that cheap, but these are my favorite shadows that I've probably ever touched, along with the other palette. Like, these are my favorite eyeshadows. These are my favorite mattes. Like, these are my favorite. Like, I just... I really like these shadows, you guys. I know that it's so much money, but I can't... Like, I can't even... Like, what was I doing before I found these? I can't even remember. I just feel like they're so good. Like, I use this all the time, set my lid. I use this one, I use that one, I use that one. I use it, like, in tandem with the other one, too, the more matte palette. And I'm just like, oh, my God, they're just so good. They're just, like, the best shadows. I mean, if I recommend anything to you guys, you guys know I'm, like, being 100% dead serious. So, this palette is that good. If you are... I didn't say this in my last video, and I wish that I had, so I'm going to say it now. The Visart palettes are only for, I would only get them if you are, like, number one, a makeup artist, which I think I said, but you really have to be a makeup lover. Like, you have to, like, <laughs> you have to really like it, because $80 is a lot for a palette, and if you are just, like, don't really care about your eyeshadow that much, if you don't really care about the tiny amount that an eyeshadow, like a blend, of, if you don't care about blendability and stuff like that, like, it, you could care less and you could really care less about, you know, how blended you can really be, then I would say, okay, just maybe skip on this. But if you are somebody like me who notices the blendability of different shadows and you want to be the most blended B-I-T-C-H out there, let me just tell you, you need this. You just need it. You need both of those. So if you're in the mood to spend $160, then I would say, yeah, for sure. <laughs> this would be a good $160 to spend on this one and the other palette. So anyway, um, I'm going to just stop talking about this now because the last time I talked way too much about the other one, but like I keep these top shelf sitting like right here, right when I open my makeup drawer, they're right there. And I'm like, yep, we're using that today. <laughs> So, yeah, I have some strong feelings about this, obviously. Um, the last one, I, I don't know, I was debating on talking about this, but I guess I just will, because I will. Because some of you guys were like, we wish the video was longer, the last one, so I'm like, wow, okay, I can do that. Um, <laughs> I guess people complaining that a video is not long enough is not really that big of a problem, but anyway, I just have these. These are Makeup Forever shadows, and I put them in a Ofra palette, because I got this Ofra palette in a BoxyCharm, I believe. Anyway, so these are some Makeup Forever shadows. You can see how huge they are because most shadows are like, MAC shadows are like that compared. So anyway, yeah, I'll just show you guys what they are. I think this is, oh, this is Anastasia Contour Kit. What the heck? Okay, well, that looks like an eyeshadow to me, doesn't it? Oh yeah, so this is Makeup Forever. This is M536. You probably don't care about that. Let's just look at this one, right? So this is M... E728 and this one is like such a cool color like I just remember Makeup Forever shadows are really good I have like a little uh, mole right there so I just covered it but <laughs> anyway these are really good um, I want to do a video like about my other you guys know I have 
um, like, a, I created my own palette with, uh, like, I bought, like, a bunch of Anastasia shadows and stuff like that, so I'll show you guys that in a different video. I think a lot of you guys have been asking me that for that, <laughs> asking me for that for a long time, but I just want to show you that I have this little mini palette created, and Makeup Forever shadows are really good, um, look how black that is, like, you can't even see it in the pan, that's so crazy. Anyway, um... Yeah, so that's it. That is it for the video. I still have a lot of, like, little palettes, so I don't know if I'm going to have to do a part three. We'll see. You guys let me know if you want to see that. Um, otherwise, I can move on to, like, blushes, and I can do bronzer collection, all that stuff. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.